Protesters in Sudan continue to call for the resignation of President Omar al-Bashir. They are now defying a crackdown by the security forces by continuing to camp out. Protesters maintained a sit-in outside Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir's residence for a third day, urging the army to back their uprising. Opposition politicians join protesters who are seeking talks with the army about forming a transitional government. Officials say that seven protesters have been killed and almost 2,500 people had been arrested. In the meanwhile, Sudan's President Omar al-Bashir chaired a meeting of the Defense and National Security Council as anti-government protests gain momentum. Frequent protests have been staged in Sudan since December when the government tried to raise bread prices. Bashir is wanted by international prosecutors for alleged war crimes in the western Darfur region and demonstrators accuse him of presiding over years of repression and promoting policies that devastated the economy. Interestingly, Video footage uploaded to social media appears to show Sudanese soldiers protecting demonstrators as thousands of anti-government protesters gathered outside the defense ministry in central Khartoum. People marching in the protest can be heard saying that the military is, quote-unquote, standing with the revolutionaries. Men wearing military fatigues can be seen joining protesters on the street, embracing people as they march. Soon, Moki Park.